We were there this morning when the candidates vying to become Atlanta's next mayor hit the voting booths. That race is just one of nearly 400 impacting everything from taxes to transportation that voters across the metro area will decide today. Channel 2's Aaron Diamond is live outside a polling place in southwest Atlanta. Aaron, so far, no big issues to report. Not really. With hundreds of elections going on today across Metro Atlanta, now here at Central United Methodist Church in Southwest Atlanta and across the state, the polls opened at 7 a.m. A good day so far. No major problems reported in our area. Now voters will cast ballots in some big races here locally for Atlanta Mayor, Atlanta City Council President, Fulton County Commission Chair, some State House and Senate seats, just to name a few. Now the issue of election integrity has made headlines in recent months, including Georgia's aging voting machines. But within the last night. 90 minutes, we spoke with Fulton County's elections director about that, who told us his confidence remains high. I can say the same thing that I say every time, which is that would it be nice to have um, a new, more modern voting system? Yes. However, the one that we have operates good. We have less than 1% of the machines uh, that go into repair every election. Uh, they're maintained well. Now, Richard Barron also told us he also doesn't put a lot of stock in concerns of the voting machine's vulnerability to hacking, saying they're, it's a closed system, they're not connected to the Internet, plus the election system is separate from the state's voter registration system, which has come under fire from critics in recent lawsuits. Now, earlier, the Secretary of State's office told me that it's got a small army of investigators ready to respond to and sort out any complaints of uh, polling place problems or electioneering. Now, they're working right now to confirm the handful or so complaints that have come in. We're going to continue to learn more about those and bring you any updates on that as we get them. For now, we're live in Southwest Atlanta. Aaron Diamond, Channel 2 Action News.